Welcome to this NX Help Tip. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the new in NX 9.0.1 Fill Surface Command. It's a very useful tool for patching bodies with holes, especially in models coming from other CAD systems. In this example, we have a parasolid exported from another package. Once we have the model, we can see areas that are see-through, which implies we have either missing or badly translated surfaces. Firstly, we just want to check what the model is, and by changing the selection filter, we can see that it is a sheet body. We can use the Examine Geometry tool in the Analysis tab to examine the model and find the possible faults. By setting the four body checks and selecting the sheet body, we can see we have five boundaries, which a valid solid would not have. Now that we have identified the five boundaries, we can now start to fix them. Fill Surface is a new command that comes with installing the NX 9.0.1 maintenance release. We'll pick the simplest boundary first. By picking the edges of the boundary, NX will attempt to build a surface to fit. Once it can build a surface, you will see a preview. You also have the option to patch the surface into your model. Now you can see the surface has been created and patched or sewn into the model. With the next example, you can see an X will identify the ends of the boundary with an asterisk. Once you have a closed boundary, the asterisk will disappear and the previous surface will be created. You can also change the boundary continuity by selecting the edges. Now for the largest surface. You can use the Curve Selection Filter to make it easier to pick the edges. You can see we get an alert about the edge continuity. In this case, some of the edges will not maintain G1, which is tangency. The easiest thing to do is to set all the edges to G0, which is position only. By selecting each individual edge in the list, NX will mark the edge with an X. From that, we can then change the appropriate edges to have G1. Now for the last two boundaries. Once we select the second boundary, we get an error about multiple loops. This is a situation the fill surface command won't be able to resolve. In this case, it's simple enough to extrude the edge of the bottom face, creating a sheet body, body, trim it to the upper edge, and then sew it back into the model. Once that's done, we can then use Examine Geometry again to confirm that the model is now a valid solid body. 